Chinese intelligence believes that the Ejeti attack on an alliance force could happen very soon. With their new proto matter computers, billions of lives could be lost in a moment once such an attack begins. We've spotted several Ejeti fleet groups on the move in the Alpha. I'm assigning you to a full of one of those groups. If they launch a proto matter attack, I want you in position for the stop. Fortunate luck. This is Captain Commander. We're on our way to assist you.
like they're on the taxi again. They are weapon control going down this hall. They're on full alert, so expect a full security threat. <laughs> Tenketi used short-range transporters instead of turbo. Forces on attack vectors! I 
scene of the battle betrayal with one of our most hated enemies, the Butcher himself. Truly, your depravity knows no bounds. And you, the ever-present thorn between my scales, meddling in my affairs at every turn, your reckless heroism has endangered trillions. You must be so very proud. The Alliance would hear us. The Federation, the Klingons, both are enemies to us. One too compassionate and the other too honorable to end millions in order to save untold trillions. Or perhaps the Romulans, a race clinging to life, trapped in the shadow of their former glory. Forever under the boot of their alliance partners, a warbird with clipped wings. Pathetic! No. To do what must be done, the Zenkethi were forced to walk that path alone. And thanks to you and others like you, the great doom of the galaxy looms over us all. And I despise you for it. So little do you know of the threat facing us all. I lack the time or desire to explain it to you now. I offer you two choices. Stand aside, or stand in defiance and die. What say you? You and Zengrathu are my best captains now. Today I want to do This crusade is unjust, and the battle is lost. It's over. Stand down now, or we will strike you down without hesitation. Surrender, Admiral, or fight if you have the spine for it. Do you really think the conflict will end here now? Fools, all enough! I yield, I yield! Proud you must be, you soon will and a few more wounds along with this would be a cold comfort to you, when you lose millions more, of course. Computer, open a fleet-wide channel. All hands, this is the Admiral. An armistice has been reached. Effective immediately. Stand down. Enjoy your victory while it lasts. Know this, the time will come when you feckless creatures will see the error of your ways. And I will take the idea when it happens. I will rally the look of despair on your pathetic faces. In the meantime, computer, release weapons control to alliance forces. You can use my command console as you see fit. The station is yours. I will ensure the end of the world. See to it that your people honor it as well. Alpha team reporting. Command deck is locked down. This is Beta Team. Commencing operation now. Victory belongs to us! Let's return to our ships and get the necessary reports filed quickly. The Ferengi, who runs the bar on Deep Space Nine, keeps a particular vintage of blood wine in stock for me. And I intend to drain every last drop of its supply. Soon, we will celebrate. For tomorrow, we may die!
impossible. And yet, those ships, like something of legend. They belong to the Hurt. We must return to our ships immediately. I know this. The greatest enemy to ever challenge the Empire. The Herc. So, this, this is the doom the Senkethi speak of. The enemy they'd kill billions to stop. The Herc are our greatest foe. An enemy that invaded Kronos over a thousand years ago. No other enemy came so close to ending. Not even the Iconians. For Klingons, they are the monsters of men. We thought they were extinct. We were fools. There is lore about the Herc using caretakers, bred to prepare worlds for the return of their masters. I believe what the Sinkethi call Ransuli are those creatures. Wherever they were, the Herc were there as well. Sleep. Wait. To return. To attack. Now. It seems that day has come. Recommendations? We fight! There is no honorable alternative. All of our lore tells us that the Herc will attack without fear, without hesitation. If Bajor is to survive, we must meet the Herc in battle. Many a Klingon has dreamed of battle with the Herc to test themselves as kings. Come on. 
all aligned forces. The Enterprise is here to help.
I am Laura Spore. I bring you greetings from the Founders. While it should be quite evident that we come to you in peace, I understand that my predecessor was a source of discord during her time here. Trust is important, so please, allow me to return the Alliance personnel we recovered from the battle station before it exploded, as a gesture of good faith. As always, I live to serve the Founders. I realize the concept of such a selfless existence is often challenging to those in the Alliance, but it really is my only goal in life. As to our presence here, the fleet has traveled here today to bring you a message, but it is not for me to deliver. We have to talk. I know that Chamberlain. He's called Odo. He used to run security for DS9. And now he's here, in command of a Dominion fleet. Impressive entrance. Whatever this is about, it isn't a matter to be taken lightly. If Odo has something to say, it would be foolish not to listen. The return of both the Dominion and the Herc is no coincidence. I suspect we'll be seeing each other again very soon. found no signs of the crystal eggs they've targeted in previous attacks. Perhaps it was meant to distract us while they pursued their mad crusade elsewhere. Well, unfortunately, that's just the first of our problems. The return of the Herc is cause enough for concern. But the return of the Dominion? That's another matter entirely. While the presence of Odo is reassuring, I've learned the hard way not to take any overtures from the Founders lightly. President Okay and the Council are sending envoys to DS9 to get to the bottom. We've enjoyed peace with the Dominion for some time now. If that's in danger, I want to know about it.